How many of you went to the movies when you were a kid, if you've got some years, on Saturday afternoon to the cowboy movies? I did. I loved it. Popcorn, candy bars, little junior mints. Well, the music from the cowboy age was just something fabulous. And I've got a couple of things that are going to be a trip down memory lane here. The first one was written by an itinerant golf caddy in Los Angeles, and I think he was having nightmares about being a cowboy from those movies. And yeah, he wrote this. The Sons of the Pioneers did a beautiful version of this, and Roy Rogers, great old song. And I have to tell you, it, it, it was in 1975 when I was traveling with the New South, and we pulled in this upstate New York for this festival. Beautiful. By the way, I love upstate New York. It's nothing like that city. Upstate New York is where real people live. <laughs> Anyhow, they, it was a beautiful place, a rural setting. And Ricky and Flux freaked out. They said, look, there's Buck's bus over there. I didn't know who they were talking about. And there's this old ramshackle school bus. I mean, it had good tires on it and a good rebuilt motor, but it looked like death-eating crackers. And Mama White was on there cooking on a propane stove. She had Rosie and I think another little one. But Buck and his two daughters, who were teenagers at the time, Sharon and Cheryl, sang. Now, Buck White had been the piano player with Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys. He rode in that Airflex bus all over Texas when he was a kid. Told me stories. Jerry Douglas said, Hugh, you wait till you hear them sing. I said, I've never heard them. What are you talking about? He said, man, don't judge it by that bus. you got to hear them. And if they do tumble and tumbleweed, I'll pass out on the spot. Well, apparently Ricky had asked them to do it. And they did it, and we both passed out. I have never heard anything like the harmony to this day. I love the Isaacs. I love to hear Deal and Vincent and that crew, but nobody sings like the White family. And if you ever have a chance to hear them on the Opry or anywhere else, it's the best you'll ever hear. And I told Ricky Skaggs, I said, Ricky, you're a fool. You ought to ask for a seat on the bus because you'll never sound as good as you do singing with the whites. As good as Paul Brewster is. Of course, Ricky doesn't pay attention to anybody. You can say anything oral to him. He doesn't hear anything, but I think you'll agree with that. Anyhow, here's, here it is, and I, I feel almost guilty doing it, but I love the song, and I love the memory of the whites doing this. I'm a Roman cow. Riding all day long Tumbleweeds around me sing They sing out their lonely song Nights underneath the prairie moon I ride along and sing this song See them tumbling down Pledging their love to the ground Lonely but free I'll be found Drifting along with a tumble and tumbleweed Cares of the past are behind Nowhere to go but I'll find Just where the trail will wind Drifting along with a tumble and tumbleweed I know when night is gone, that a new world is born at dawn. Oh, oh, I keep rooting along. Deep in my heart is a song. Here on the range I belong. Drifting along with the tumble and tumbleweed. Drifting along with the tumble and tumbleweed. of land under starry skies above don't fence me in let me ride to the wide open country that i love don't fence me in let me be by myself in the evening breeze listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees send me off forever 
I ask you please don't fence me and just turn me loose. Let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon until I lose my senses. Can't stand the hobbles and I don't like fences. Don't fence me. Yeah, man. Now that's with my that old bluegrass writer Cole Porter. <laughs> 1934. Take it, Charles. What are we doing, bud? Uh, I know a cowboy song too. Good. But it's it's not the same kind of cowboy. Well, that's all right. This was uh, uh, this this cowboy. He wasn't very good to his to the people that work for him. You know, and uh, <laughs> you know, and lots of employers are not that good to their employees. And this is a song about that. You got bad words in it? Uh, no, oh, no, good. no, no, we're, we're all adults. Take a vote on that. No, we don't have bad words. Okay. No, my, my mom, she's still living and she's 85 years old. And, and uh, she always, I call her and tell her that I'm going to go somewhere and play, you know, and, and uh, she says, well, you know, son, act like somebody. You know, we all know what that means. And she always says, uh, wear a nice shirt and, and, you know, clean your shoes up. You know, and I said, Mom, I'm, I'm 65 years old. I mean, uh, are you ever going to get over me being your son? And she says, no. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I haven't played this song in a while. Maybe I can get through it. But it's a neat old song. A lot of people used to do it in the 60s. And I used to do it with Doc. Let me get my harmonica right. Because I might play some harmonica if I got some. Time to go. Give 
give the blankets to my buddies and give the fleas to Diamond Joe. <laughs> Thank you. to do it. E. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I'm tired and I'm weak, I am on through the storm. Through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. When my way grows drear, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone. Him I cry, him I call, hold my hand, lest I fall, take my hand. Precious Lord, lead me home. You know, Doc played on the streets of Boone. He played in New York. He played in foreign countries and old country stores. He made music for a living. That's what he told me to uh, support his children and his wife, Rosalie. Uh, his father-in-law, Gaither, would saw the fiddle on those good old songs. And Doc, he would pat his feet and play along. You know, Doc finger pick with Travis. He flat pick with Lester and Earl. He sang with Bill Monroe and many others, but his favorite was Merle. You know, uh, Doc and Merle toured the world, built his father and son, playing their guitars and singing their songs. You know, but uh, they don't play anymore. They're gone. I sure miss Doc and his stories and his good old songs. But you know, He's got a life-size bronze statue sitting on the corner of Depot and King Street. And I passed by it the other day, and I thought I heard him playing his guitar and patting his feet. Wow. That's for Doc. When the dark appears and the night grows near and the day it is past and gone at the river I stand guide my feet hold my hand take my hand precious Lord lead me home Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Good night, everybody. Thank you.